I made a video earlier and this was about Chris Chan and um, I um, don't think I did a very good job explaining just um, what, what my point of view was. I did explain it but I just didn't explain it probably in the best way that I could have explained it. And um, one of the things that, that I need that, that people need to understand is that there is not one factor in why Chris ended up doing what he did and um, I can understand that a lot of people will be um, probably pissed off that I said um, Chris Chan doesn't have free will I guess what I mostly mean by that is he didn't have a sporting chance because um, let's just let's just think a little bit about Chris Chan Okay, the, the, the point I made uh, before was that, um, let's see, uh, that's the wrong one. Okay, the point I made before was that basically an ordinary person, right, that is really, really addicted can be tempted to go back into their addiction, right? Like if someone's addicted to porn, they might go back to doing porn. If someone's addicted to smoking cigarettes, um, they might go back to cigarettes. And um, do you think that when you, when you take a, 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 an ordinary person and then you take Chris Chan, how many steps do you think Chris Chan is from an ordinary person? In other words, how many steps do you honestly think that it takes to go from being, you know, just an ordinary um, wanker to someone that ha whose whose mind has become so fucked up that they start wanting to do the shit in real life? Um, I want to um, let's see. Uh, I wrote a comment here. I'm not going to quote it exactly, but. Um, you have to uh, first accept the fact that Chris Chan is not only autistic, but it, that he's completely insane. Okay, on top of the fact that he um, that he has other problems. Okay, and the fact that um, it was only him in the house with another individual that was quote mentally impaired. Okay, that alone quadrupled the possibility of such a thing happening. Um, the fact that he was addicted to porn, on top of the fact that he's autistic, and on top of the fact that he um, also has a bunch of other fucked up problems, he also was addicted to porn, and on top of it, he was with another person who was also mentally impaired. Okay, um, okay, on top of this, okay, he was addicted to all kinds of fucking, you know, not only was he addicted to all kinds of porn and say so he drawed sauna shoes and all kinds of crazy shit, he believed the shit was real, okay, that, uh, You know that kind of hexa, hexa dup, tu tupled it. However, that would be it, it multiplied it by sixteen. The fact that he was um, a virgin with all those problems, and then you also got to consider the fact that he was not only bullied, bullied constantly by a bunch of people that were constantly fucking with him. But he also um, had the, the, the extra push by Bella, who was an absolute fucking black magician. And that pretty much uh, Trigin, Tr Triginta Dow toppled it, multiplied it by 32. And so. With all those problems on top of problems, 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 
it's a wonder this shit did not happen earlier. As a matter of fact, it probably did. And I also want to say that it is an absolute fucking shame, not only that people basically just kept nagging it and nagging it and nagging it, nagging at this person until he uh, committed this foul act, but it, it just absolutely makes a fucking mockery out of the universe. This, this, this kid, Christian, he made an absolute fucking mockery out of the Bible, out of Jesus, out of God. Don't even get me started on this fucking shit. You know, and one of the biggest reasons why this is such a sad fucking thing is because there is a lot of buffoons that, you know, that when shit like this happens, they use this as sort of a, see, there is no God, there is no divine, you know, uh, you know, there is nobody um, pulling the strings, blah, 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 you know, they kind of got this, you know, nursery rhyme understanding of God, this old man with the white beard up in the sky that's supposed to be looking down and constantly making sure you don't, you know, that you don't do one of those ten things or you're going to hell. Um, and, 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 and these people, they're, a lot of the people who, who, who talk this kind of nonsense, they're not really doing it based on logic. They're doing it based on their own fucking petty-ass emotion. And their own petty-ass fucking beliefs. And their own petty-ass fucking... B b because you, you, want, you want to know the truth about some of you people that, um, you know, you're always looking at, you know, uh, you know, um, sickness and, you know, people getting cancer and dying left and right. Um... Let me tell you something, motherfucker. God is the light, but God is the darkness. God is the fucking sickness. He is the fucking cancer. He is that fucking truck running over your whole goddamn family. And you want me to tell you one, why that is? Because what good would it do for us to be created and for everybody to just be fucking happy for eternity. Light can only shine in darkness. Hot can only exist in cold. The point of this world being so fucked up is that it's a perfect place for responsibility and let's just face it, glory. It's, it, just look at this world. It's a perfect opportunity for glory. It's a perfect opportunity to, you know, everything in this material world to let you down just so you, you, that you understand the things that really matter are the eternal. The things that really matter are divine. That's why everything in this world seems to let you down. Karma could be part of it too, but I'm not really worried about that. If you seriously go to people like Chris Chan, and this is your evidence for there not being some higher power, um, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot because, you know... You, and you can go to uh, Westcott Loudon. You can go to his channel, um, Enlightened University, and you can run your mouth to him talking to him about how there's no God because you're barking up the wrong fucking tree. And when you're in the um, presence of the ultimate, when you're in the presence of the void that put everything into existence, your ass ain't going to be up there talking about how the, the, the creator did this and the creator did that and the creator is a deadbeat dad and all this bullshit that's bullshit that's a bunch of petty worldly egotistical bullshit what's going to fucking happen when you see the face of God is you're going to see your own face 
you're going to realize there was no you. There is no ego in the presence of, of Elohim. There is no ego in the presence of Yahweh. There, in, the, in the presence of Brahma, in the presence of the Almighty God, there is no ego. There is no difference. Everything you wear dies. And the only thing that's left is the ultimate. You go talking about, you know, children having all these problems and stuff. I'm not trying to be cruel, but you mean these children over here? You see, you see shit happens in this world because humanity hasn't learned any, it hasn't learned their lesson. That's why this shit happens in the world. Okay? And, um, you can like it, you can lump it, but you can't change it. And it is what it is. And this world is not for babies, it's for fucking heroes. You know? It's for fucking heroes. It's for people who can take a silver bullet and, and keep running. Okay? That's, that's what this world was for.